Yo, what up, what up? It's Kid CJ City. So we back with a brand new video today. We're going to be talking about some of my favorite pickups from the year of 2020. All right, these fragrances right here are not all fragrances that released in 2020. They're just fragrances that I'm excited to own, and these are fragrances that I actually purchased and added to my collection through the year of 2020, all right? So I'm just gonna be diving into some of those fragrances and sharing them with you, all right? So let's just go ahead and start off with the number 10 slot here. And this one right here, kind of like a little cheap, but it's a three-way tie, all right? And the reason why I did a three-way tie is because I didn't wanna do three honorable mentions. So I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna take these three fragrances and I'm just gonna make it a tie. You know, uh, these are going to be discontinued gems, discontinued fragrances that are no longer on the market that I was actually able to acquire and add to my collection. So that's why I decided to throw them number 10 instead of doing discontinued honorable mentions. All right, so, you know, the first fragrance that I'm gonna talk about is gonna come from the house of Yves Saint Laurent, and this one is going to be called Lone Cologne Gingembre, all right? Now, this fragrance right here, a fragrance that I've sampled time and time and time again, is a fragrance that is very hard to come by, and if you do come by this fragrance, you're probably gonna have to cough up a pretty penny to get your hands on, on on something like this all right i came across a deal that i just couldn't you know uh you know pass up and i was like you know what this is the time i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pull the trigger so i added this fragrance to my collection in 2020 and this is a really good fragrance man basically just think of you know, um, you know, Y.O. Fresh. If you guys are familiar with that scent profile, in the opening, you get like this nice, fresh, lemon, ginger, icy type of thing going on. And then it kind of dries down into the Y DNA. This is the same thing going on. So in the opening, you're getting like that icy, fresh, lemon, ginger opening. And then instead of it drying down into the Y DNA, it dries down into Loam DNA, okay? This one has a little bit, you know, more woody nature than the original Loam. So nice, icy, zesty, lemon, ginger, a little bit of wood, and then you go into a Loam DNA, but really good fragrance. I'm glad that I acquired this fragrance. This is gonna be getting a lot of wears in the summertime for sure, man, all right? So that's coming in at the number 10 slot there. Let's just go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this list. And this one, like I said, it's just a tie here, and this one is gonna be another Another discontinued fragrance that I just acquired and this one is going to be Issey Miyake Noir Amber. This fragrance right here, a lot of hype when it came out. I was just like, yo, what's the point of me even trying that fragrance? It's discontinued. It's hard to come by. I'm gonna have to drop hundreds of dollars on, on that fragrance. I'm good, all right? I held out on the fragrance and then I made the mistake of sampling the fragrance last year and I was just like, yo, this fragrance is as good as everybody talks about. I definitely need me a full bottle. So I was able to acquire me a, a partial bottle actually of this fragrance. And I got a pretty good deal. The fact that it was a partial bottle, but still plenty of juice. I'll never run through all of this juice in my entire life. It's so much of it, but really warm, spicy, amber type of fragrance. I'm sure you guys know all about it, but I had to add this to my collection, all right? So let's just go ahead and go with another discontinued fragrance. This is the last one, and it's just gonna make up my 10 slot here. This one's gonna come from the house of Parfums Vintage, and this one is actually going to be called Noir Intense. Now, 2020 for me, I've already had all of the Aventuses. Well, I haven't had them all, but I feel like I've tried majority of them except for those smoky batches. So 2020, I was exploring the smoky vintage batches of Aventus and I actually enjoyed them. I actually enjoyed that that barbecue type of smoky nature to Aventus, man. And, you know, I, I even dabbled into Parfums Vintage Beyond the War and I felt like Beyond the War that was really, really smoky, but there's something about it that was pretty good, man. And I just started to dive deeper and dive deeper, and then I found this fragrance. It was called Noir Intense. I'm like, huh, I've never heard of that one. It wasn't on the website or anything like that. You know, I go all the way back, and I, I found this fragrance. I found reviews. I found, you know, people talking about this fragrance, and it just got discontinued, man, and it just never came back. And basically what you got with this fragrance right here is you have the absolute perfect blend and perfect balance between, you know, Pineapple Vintage and Beyond Noir. It's just right there, and it's just like this beautiful, smoky, 
pineapple vanilla batch of Aventus. And I'm really, really enjoying this fragrance right here. A fragrance that you're not gonna get, man. Just, just forget about it. You're not gonna get it, I'm sorry. I just got extremely lucky and I was able to trade a smoky batch of Aventus to acquire some of this. The seller was just like, yo, I'm not letting this go, but I actually talked them out of it. This is very hard to come by. Try it for yourself. You can go out there and try it. If you guys are curious, Parfums Vintage, it does have like this weird type of vibe. So you guys want to know, does the Vintage stuff have that weird, funky type of vibe? And I will be honest with you guys. Yes, this thing did have it, but I have found a trick to get rid of that funkiness about, you know, Parfum Vintage. All you guys have to do is remove the cap here and just remove this little atomizer up here at the top. You know, rinse it off with a little alcohol or whatever the case is. Decant a little bit of this and then just spray the atomizer and just let it sit. Don't ever put the cap back on because I found that the smell actually sets in on the atomizer. And every single spray, you're getting that funky smell. So you want to get rid of it from the atomizer and then your fragrance does not have that funky smell anymore. So that's just a pro tip, all right? I'm putting it on just for, you know, the purpose of this video. Got a cap, but... Typically, it just sits on my shelf just like this. But anyway, all three of those fragrances compose of the number 10 slot. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next slot here, number nine. This one is going to come from the house of Roja Dove, and this one is going to be called Enigma Parfum Cologne, all right? So this one came out uh, 2019, came out with Scandal, Danger, Vetiver, and um, this was honestly my favorite amongst all of them. I tried it. And at the time I tried it, I liked it, I enjoyed it, but I just didn't want to spend that much money at the time it came out. Patience is key in this game, man, because if you just wait it out just a little bit, you can find some really good deals, man. This fragrance was going for like 260, 250. You know, I was able to acquire this fragrance for about 170, all right? So I waited and I got a really good deal on this fragrance. Basically, what you get in the opening of this, you're getting you know, that cola type of vibe, you know, this cognac type of vibe. You get a nice vanilla in this fragrance as well, man. I am really enjoying this. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of just like the Parfum version, but they added a little bit more brightness to the opening. You're getting like this lemon, this bergamot freshness in the opening as well. But it's a fragrance that I really, really enjoy. Really good longevity as well. I'm glad I added this to the collection, all right? So let's just go ahead and move on to the next slot here. And this one right here is gonna come from the house of Tom Ford. And this one right here, oh man, it's going to be called Tom Ford white suede all right now if you guys know me you guys know i really enjoy this fragrance i feel like this is a sleeper fragrance i've talked about this fragrance time and time again i always put it on list matter of fact i think i might just do a standalone review on this fragrance because it's that good and people just don't talk about it but you guys know i own this fragrance right i do own me a 50 milliliter bottle of this fragrance but the reason why this is making a list is because i got a backup bottle and it's the 100 ml i'm so happy that i was able to find me a 100 ml man i got a lot of this juice going on and i'm not gonna run out i really really enjoy this fragrance man and basically it's just a nice clean semi you know spicy type of fragrance and then it's also like this, you know, kind of like floral type of vibe that you're getting with this fragrance. But just think of really clean, really fresh, slightly floral, little bit of spice. You already know how Tom Ford does. They mix things up with their DNA. But man, this is a really good fragrance. Tom Ford White Suede, the 100 ml. I'm so proud that I was able to add that to my collection. All right. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next slot here. This one actually is going to be a release from 2020 and this one is going to come from the house of Rochas and this one is going to be called Alone. all right so this fragrance you guys might be used to that mustache it kind of came out it smelled like tuxedo they came out with a new fragrance some people were talking about it then it just completely like died off just vanished off the map nobody start talking about this fragrance anymore you didn't see this thing appear on the list or anything like that but me I tried the fragrance, I enjoyed the fragrance, and I actually purchased a bottle of the fragrance because I really like the fragrance, and I'm happy that I picked it up in 2020, all right? Basically, what you're getting with this fragrance, man, just think of Blue Day Chanel, all right? Less of that, that waxy, 
and Roxanne, I guess you could say, they toned that way, way down, all right? And they added a lot of fruits to this, man. You got pineapple in this fragrance and you got some bergamot. You get a nice fresh, well, it's not fresh, man. I wanna say fresh, but it's not fresh. Not like a citrus or anything. It's just kind of something that's just like, like lively or something like that. You get like this lively, fruity nature in the opening and then you get that mixed with Blue de Chanel. That's basically what I'm getting to my nose. A fragrance that I really, really enjoy and something that I'm glad I was able to add to my collection, man. So let's just go ahead and move on to the next slot right here. And this one is gonna come from the house of Armani. And this is a goodie. I really do enjoy this fragrance and I'm glad I picked it up. This one is going to be called Stronger With You Freeze, all right? so. I'm still here, you know, 2020 is wrapped up and I'm still raving about this fragrance. And I, I wasn't just on a hype train. I wasn't just trying to hype up a new release. I really enjoy this fragrance and I'm sticking to my guns. I really feel like this fragrance is better than the OG. I do enjoy this better than the OG. I don't enjoy it better than Intensely, but it still stands, man. It's better than the OG. Basically what you're getting is that OG DNA but you get more freshness in the opening. It's like this lime lemon type of joint going on. And then honestly, you get like this green melon or like this honeydew type of vibe with this fragrance, you know, and that just lasts through the life of the fragrance. It already had like this chestnut type of vibe going on, this little toffee vanilla type of thing going on there. And then you're just gonna add freshness from the, the lemon and the lime, and then you're gonna add like this honeydew fruitiness to this DNA profile. I enjoy it and I'm glad that I added it to my collection, all right? So let's just go ahead and move on to the next fragrance here. And this one, oh boy, this is going to be something that you guys probably have not heard about, but I am extremely happy to add this to the collection, man. And this one is gonna come from a clone house, actually. This one is gonna come from Genre Parfums and this one is going to be called Serene Latte. Basically what this thing right here is a clone of is going to be Killian intoxicated if you guys have saw my list you guys know i enjoy me some killian intoxicated i've been working with like this this 30 milliliter decant it went from 30 milliliters to 20 it went from 20 to like 12 or something like that you know just been running through that stuff and i was like you know what i think i'm gonna go ahead and buy me a full bottle of killian intoxicated that is until i tried this right here serene latte this is the best clone of that Killian fragrance, hands down. It's like side by side, you cannot tell the difference. It's almost like 99% the same. Like I cannot believe they were able to, to, to capture that and, and bottle it up, man. And this stuff is extremely affordable. This is a 50 milliliter bottle right here. And this thing, if I'm not mistaken, went for like 40 bucks, $45, all right? So not even a dollar per ml. A 50 milliliter of by Killian Intoxicated is gonna run me about $220. And I got this thing right here for 45 bucks, man. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. If you guys are not familiar with Intoxicated, to my nose, Basically, I'm getting a little green pine type of vibe, and I'm basically getting like this Tootsie Pop or this Tootsie Roll candy sucker, you know, with the candy out shell, and then like a chocolate inside, man. So that's basically what I'm getting with this. Sweetness, like candied sweetness, chocolate, and then kind of like this pine green nature, and then dries down into something that's just it's just beautiful, man. I love this stuff. I'm so happy that I was able to, uh, you know, add this to my collection. Once again, that's coming from the House of Genre Parfums. That one's going to be called Serene Latte, all right? Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance that I was able to add to my list in 2020. And that one is gonna come from the House of Clive Christian. And that one is going to be called 1872 for Women, all right? Yeah, I caught you. You probably thought that this was the masculine one. Nah, this is the one for women. And I've been telling you guys about this fragrance and I've been waiting to get my hands on this fragrance and I was actually able to get my hands on this. Don't let that female tag fool you. This is a really good fragrance and dare I say, it's better than a masculine one because they add a lot of fruits to this, man. So you're getting pineapple, you're getting lemon, you're getting mandarin orange. Um, What else is in here? You're getting blueberry in this thing. You're getting some plum in this thing right here, man. So. In the opening, you're getting like this nice, fresh, fruity overload. It's just a beautiful spring fragrance, man. And then it's gonna dry down into like this woody, musky type of fragrance. 
I really enjoy it. I can't believe they think this is a woman's fragrance because I don't. I don't think women can pull this off. Maybe you can, but I really feel like this leans masculine. Maybe it's because of all of the fruit that they dumped on it. They might think a man probably doesn't want to walk around smelling, you know, that sweet or that fruity or whatever. But I'm here to tell you this mixed with like that masculine, you know, woody, musky type of nature. I think it might even be some vetiver or something like that, man. But I'm telling you, this is some good stuff. Go out there, try it, sample it. I'm telling you, Clive Christian, 1872, female edition, man. This is the one for women, all right? So let's just go ahead and move on to the next fragrance that I was able to add to my list here in 2020. And that one comes from the house of Zerzhov. And I've been raving about this fragrance this year. And that one is going to be called Lyra, all right? This one right here, really, really good gourmand fragrance. It's a beautiful gourmand fragrance. Sweetness. And it's just like like this cookie type of vibe, man. And then it's just this vanilla type of dry down. Nice soft vanilla. I like the vanilla in here. It's not like an ice cream vanilla or anything. But basically, you get sweetness in the opening. I think this thing has caramel. I think this thing has licorice in the opening, man. So you're getting like this nice sweetness, all right? And then it kind of goes into like this cookie type of vibe. Like gourmand natures, all right? And then it dries down into like this nice vanilla fragrance man this is definitely going to be a unisex fragrance if you're a man and you want to pull this thing off do not hesitate matter of fact i didn't mean to do two female fragrances back to back but this one right here i'm telling you another woman's fragrance that you guys might be turned off because it's marketed to women you might see those notes and be like yo what do I want, why would i want to smell like licorice and caramel and all this other you know girly stuff but i'm telling you it's a beautiful fragrance, and dare I say, it could be sexy, man. The, depending on how you dress this up, depending on how you look, I'm telling you, good stuff. Go out there, try it, but I'm just glad I was able to add that to my list, all right? Now, let's go ahead and move on. We're here to, to the top two fragrances, man, and this fragrance right here, this was the best fragrance of 2020 to me until number one came out, all right? And this fragrance, it's just good stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff here, man. This one is going to come from the house of Rorana, and this one is going to be called Cherry on Top, all right? Now, this fragrance, oh, it's a beautiful gourmand fragrance, man, and it's not like a overdose of gourmand nature. It just kind of puts you in the vibes of having, you know, like something that's gourmandish, and I'm telling you, I'm just smelling it from the top right now, man. Oh, my goodness. Man, this is some good stuff right here. It's like this powdery vanilla, man. Like, I'm getting that right away. Like, this powdery vanilla type of vibe. And then you're getting caramel in here. Another fragrance with caramel, you know. But I'm getting, like, that sweetness from caramel in here. Then you also get, like, this little ambery type of vibe. And I feel like the amber goes in a different direction. It doesn't add, like, a, a kick of spice or anything like that. It's adding that depth. But I feel like it also is contributing to the sweetness in here, man. This thing says it has cherry, the whole thing. Thing is just red you would think this is a cherry bomb maybe Tom Ford lost cherry or something like that but honestly I'm not really picking up on much cherry the cherry might just be blending with it at with the amber and it might be blending with the vanilla and the caramel to kind of create sweetness or something like that overall a beautiful fragrance gourmand fragrance for sure you know Rorana cherry on top this was the best fragrance of 2020 for me until this number one fragrance came out, but still nonetheless, really excited that I was able to add that. And the number one fragrance of 2020 for me, I've said this time and time again, it's just a fragrance that just blew me away, man. And I still like this fragrance. That one is gonna come from the house of BDK Parfums and it's none other than Tobacco Rose, man. This one right here is like the best fragrance of 2020 in my personal opinion, a fragrance that I'm vibing with a lot. This is a fragrance that I truly enjoy. If you guys are out there and you're looking for, I don't know why you would be looking for that. Why would you even say that, City? But if you guys were turned off by rose fragrances and you think rose fragrances are bad and you hear me talking about this fragrance and you're reading the note breakdown and the thing got rose in it, I'm telling you, don't, don't turn this fragrance away because this is a really good rose fragrance. And this is a fragrance that has rose in it that I feel like you can definitely, definitely wear. This one is going to be more of like your classy dressing up, trying to come off as like sexy, you know, attractive, trying to get, you know, some attention, garner some attention from some women or something like that. I'm telling you, stuff right here, basically in the opening, you cannot deny the rose. You're getting rose, but it's not... 
a, a girly rose or anything like that. It's rose is there, all right? You get rose, but you're also getting like this amber, tobacco, spicy, cinnamon type of fragrant right here as well. And then you're also gonna get like this chocolate and plum vibe to this fragrance, all right? So I always like to, to say this when I describe this fragrance. Think of Rose as the lead singer, all right? Rose is up there, Rose is doing his thing, but you got all of these background singers that are harmonizing and making this track sound beautiful, bro. And it's, it's almost like, yeah, the lead singer is the star of the show, but the song would be lacking a lot if it didn't have the background singers, you know, doing an important job. Maybe not trying to steal the show, but doing a very vital, you know, um, job and playing a very vital role. And that's what chocolate is doing in this fragrance. That's what plum is doing in this fragrance. That's what amber is doing in this fragrance. That's what tobacco is doing in this fragrance. That's what cinnamon is doing in this fragrance. I'm telling you, you guys have to go out there and you have to try it. It's a beautiful fragrance, man. One of the best fragrances of 2020. So glad that I was able to add this into my collection, all right? So that's basically going to do it, man. These are all of the fragrances, you know, that I was excited to add to my collection. These are some of my favorite fragrances, top 10, you know, stuff going on right here, man. So drop those comments down below if you guys have tried any of these fragrances, man. And you guys already know what it is. I'm CJ City. I'm signing out until next time. I appreciate all the love. Peace.